Welcome to my lovely 5D groups of mystics and just the common sense functional adult because a 5D person is a integrated mind, a restorative embodied self. It's the optimal version of a person so you know that secure attachment is what you get as you explore the aspects that take place in your life, those challenging ones with your right and left and so integration of the mind you navigate from eventual vagal nervous system state and the integrated mind has a down regulated default mode network so the neuroception the oats others in the self scanner is not actually scanning we don't need yoga to disengage from any type of mindset because our only mindset is an inner growth mindset so every time emotions arise from the body we say huh Here's my expansion of consciousness moment. That's pure consciousness. So some are in their 5D from a love cycle. Others have moved into it by getting out of the shame, defectiveness, very unfortunate, heartbreak, gut wrench, torn apart, and very serious topic where we have great somatic experts, somatic experiencing experts, trauma experts, and a lot of names I can give you if you need support on moving into a well-being of the mind and the heart and the body of you. And on that note, 5D mystics are all grown-ups, so we know that we can do it together or with the support of an expert, and we don't actually use the erroneous information that has been handed and continues to be handed over by the not-good psychology community. So your attachments category or style is not fixed your wiring is not fixed nothing's fixed in fact there's plenty of neuroscientists not the ones who are married to the ancient the ones who are married to education they say here's what we've uncovered so far your rewiring has a bright side dark side we're not going to make it a here let me give you a what are they called sales pitch sentence and then you oh i want to be like that human being over there so no, the educators will say, here's what we know, here's how this can help you, you independent adult human being, and that's the true roar of a lion that sees and hears, and in fact, this is where our 5D spectrum is. So we don't have ego-sensitive people, and if there are any, the most they will say is, this is pseudoscience bullshit, thank you so much. It's not bullshit, but it is definitely not science, meaning I'm not doing anything that is remotely empirical. If I were, I would be in a lab doing research and not speaking to you. Uh, and actually, I could do research in a different way. But long story short, when that arises, you'll know because it'll be in a book format and it'll have a bibliography and it'll be presented, not in a talking manner, no. So pseudoscience, not bullshit for my 5D mystics and any functional adult who actually enjoys love language uh, because, you know, fiercely loving means we actually can say F you, F you, and really mean it because we're completely op opposing views and then hug each other because we're like, wow, it's a good thing we're not leaders because we'd be totally on the opposite team and we'd be like, yes, <laughs> it's a good thing that all of this hilariousness that groups do together is not ever going to make a difference in the life of any person because we have to all go vote and do other things in order for things to happen. It's called taking action. But before you can actually take action, getting out of a state of energy which is not your optimal so let me get to my community again because the people who think they're lions and they actually are always in this moment we're moving into the lovely season of the line so a true roar is one of compassion beyond a reason and a true roar knows sad guru and so that's why i do speak to my lovely 5d community because those who do listen again they're like, okay, I got some spirituality, spiritual stuff, so I get what the lady's talking about. And they keep staying in because they're curious about a mystic's perspective, an enlightenment soul age group mystic's perspective. And I'm curious about you, so please reach out. I'd love to have an interview, and we can chit-chat about the scientific stuff in a better way than I can present it for sure because I have a horrible memory for anything that's a data, meaning I can't always keep it straight, which is why I accepted the lovely help that my naysayer supported our community so again pseudoscience and self-help the self doesn't need the help of me but some people they need a 5d because we have a lot of people who are not here so they use the bad psychoeducation to make statements 
and I'm not going to go there again. They make so many statements. If you are a lion that sees, you will call BS the minute you see it because you'll be like, mm, you can't know everything. And the way you're presenting it, your body is completely all over you thinking of yourself as knowing everything. And that's not true because I don't know. I don't know everything. And there's nothing more special about you or me because we all are humans. And that means we all will at one point or another without even knowing it. Tick tock, tick tock, 24 hours. Power of now, man, and women, and they. When you have it, it's like every day you just remember, shit, it's one day. I'm going to wake up tomorrow. I hope I wake up. Please let me wake up. That's love cycle people for you. So love, said guru, means being willing to nurture another life, which is any human being on the face of this planet, beyond opinions and prejudice. And the 5D person is here. So a true lion roars compassion and knows that, you know, when they think adrenaline rush and the height of a couple, for example, I saw this one video, it continues to boggle my mind because I know of blind lions that actually think adrenaline rushes are more amazing than constant embodied enlightenment. And they are people that don't believe you can maintain it. I've heard them, 4D people, 3D people, they're all people, but they actually don't try to work with their self so they don't look at what is serious business their sensations their unresolved trauma and the fact that they're moving away from people versus wanting to be with them and we do all have an attachment system this is why the attachment system of you is important because if you're wired to not nurture your own inner self you're not going to have a high energy you're not going to get into your pure energy because you don't know it yet because you're not like, huh, I have no interest here. Let me try and figure out where my energy rises. Then there's also the part about I'm flawed and imperfect like anybody else. I'm not going to shame myself when somebody calls my name. I'm going to recognize mm, first. Wait, did I say something? If I did, I'm sorry. Are we just different? Can we get along? Yes. Cool. OK, we can get along and know we're different and keep appreciating each other very straightforward not yelling insulting so like i'm a poly secure person people who are not i haven't gotten a face-to-face -face insult yet but i've gotten very interesting uh comments so <laughs> they're always interesting because i'm like what year are you from again because i thought it was 2023 but maybe i'm mistaken here's another lovely sad guru quote whether you call it a stone a tree an animal a man a demon or the divine everything is the same energy and that's true this is what a 5d person knows which is why your third eye doesn't mean that i can tell you about you but what i can tell you as a 5d mystic in the enlightenment soul age group is that we know our oversoul and we know where they're at and what choices so right now all of you are choosing stuff now if your eyes are open then you're choosing with safe haven and secure base it means you know how to inner nurture your own ego self as a person so you don't fall for stuff like uh okay so you're the same energy manifesting itself in a million different ways we have eight billion plus people and then all the animals and everything else that we want to try and support but to get my message out before i've run out of time you don't think of your life as faded uh the call of the ego the obvious life or destiny life, the call of the soul, and then, oh, leap, challenge, decision to face, change, action, being called to make. You don't contemplate life like that. Uh, you are the one who creates your story, your fairy tale or your nightmare. Either or, it's your interpretation, in fact, of what goes on in family. For the 5D, it's not a training ground to rise beyond likes and dislikes. Thank you, Sadhguru. It's training ground for those who have the unworthiness, shame, heartbreak, gut wrench, and they need to move into self-empowerment. Once they do, love cycle people, we're safe haven. So our family, we get to say, wow, I'm going to accept that here's what I like about our relationship. Here are the things that I dislike. What can we work on with these areas so we can move it into acceptance of our flaws and imperfections like grown-ups can. And then we can say F you, F you, hug each other, laugh together because our quirks are the most beautiful thing about what makes us all unique. And family doesn't cut cords. That's only 4D land who still believes in an area that they really should just go and you know be in a different area but we're going to leave that alone the adaptive child their safety behaviors are they need to figure it out 
when they awaken their third eye, they might. And if not, it's okay. We get to compassionately love them and share with them life together, walks of life, all of them, because we don't exclude. We only add to the bundle of joy and to tomorrow for our generations. So love each other. 